Are you alright, love? You are alright, love? Yeah, it's dead good, that. Dead good, that. Oh, that's minging. Oh, Change that's it, minging. you know? I need help. Help. You need to bath the baby. Oh, oh wow. Go bath the baby. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, I'm yes. Mad for it. <laughs> you mad for it. Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Korean Billy and today I am joined by a very special Mancunian <laughs> guest mm -hmm. and this is Miss Ba. What would be the typical phrase for saying hello? Hiya! Hiya, right? <laughs> it is my very first time to be joined by a Mancunian Ooh. guest. I'm very buzzing. <laughs> buzzing, yes! <laughs> Where in Manchester are you from then? I'm from uh, originally I was born in Haywood, which is great in Manchester, mm. 20 minutes out. But then I moved to Crumpsall, which oh. is maybe seven minutes drive from the city centre. Mm. Mancunian people join us. <laughs> yeah. Today I just want to learn more Mancunian from you. Okay. Um, I can even notice your Manchester accent okay. from you. Uh -huh. First of all, let's just talk about Mancunian phrases then. Mm. As a Mancunian, do you also have your own typical Mancunian phrases? Yeah, like buzzing, if buzzing. you're excited, mm. chuffed, chuffed. You say that. And then if something's gross or disgusting, you'll say minging. Minging. Or if yeah. you eat something, oh that's minging, or your friend is dressed badly, you be like, that's minging, oh, change that's it, minging. you know? <laughs> yeah, minging. <laughs> we say for an alleyway, mm. we say ginno. Ginno. Yeah. yeah, and when people is from down south, they're like, what the heck is a ginno? But how do you use that word, like, go through the ginno yeah, and stuff like that? Yeah, like, because I used to live on an avenue, and then mm. I'm like, oh, go down the ginno. And oh. I didn't know it was called an alleyway. I thought an alleyway was, like, American. So you thought ginno was just a standard British yes, English yes, word? Yes, yeah. There's a very typical Mancunian mm. phrase saying, oh, you're right, oh, yeah. okay. Ah, oh, okay, I'm yes. I'm mad for it. <laughs> you're mad for it. Do people still use that? I think people would say mad for it, like uh, maybe in a party scene or like yeah. going to the pub. But we would definitely say our kid, like it'd be a mm. little brother or like um, a friend who was mm. younger than you. Mm. Boys would be like, oh, here's our kid now. Oh. oh, have you seen our kid? But it would be very specific to that person. So mm. you know they're talking about their brother or their friend. So what about among girls? Is there any like Mancunian nickname? No, not really. Female really. friends? Oh. We don't say our kid for a yeah. girl. It'd always be a boy. It's always a boy. That's, that's so sad. Yeah, it's only for male. Oh, so sexist. Come on, Manchester. <laughs> we'll have to make one up, Billy. We'll have to make a name up for girls. Okay. And then we'll say that mint if something's really good. Mm, mint. Oh, that was a mint show. That was a mint movie. Mm. Food was mint. Oh, you look mint. What about the actual mint? We kind of still say. So that peppermint was yeah. mint. Yeah. We'll say. <laughs> we'll say. Oh, if you, we won't even say flavor. I guess when we mean flavor, yeah, we'd yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But in general conversation, we never need to use the word mint. We say like wicked. I mean, wicked. I feel like it's more 90s or early 2000s yeah. slang, but we still use it. We'll be mm. like, oh, that was wicked, that. And we mm. just mean it was really good. I also noticed that you say that at the end. Oh, yes. Kind of yes, 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 yes. And that's still really, that's <laughs> such a mystery for me as well. You say like, that's mint, that. Yes. That's good, that. Yeah. I had to repeat it twice, yeah, yeah in Manchester. Re so is it very common to repeat yeah, that? Yeah, that's like totally normal. I didn't know I used to do that until yeah. my cousin from London pointed it out. Yeah. She's like, why do you say, that's good that, that's mint that, why do you say that all the time? I'm like, yeah. do I? I didn't even notice, yeah. but yeah, apparently we did. Is it just, just natural? It's just natural. So what about he, she, it, his, min, him? No. Oh yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> do you? We do. She's mint her. Ah, uh, her. Yeah, like we do. That's just clicked. I just didn't know we did that. I was particularly. <laughs> you don't even notice. No. Or if someone's like, oh, I'm gonna um, oh meet this um guy. Do you know him? And I go, oh yeah, he's mint him. So, Maybe not for it, but he, she. Yeah. And that we will say. And that's also the Manchester thing. Yeah. Maybe northern thing. Yeah. I would say. Mm -hmm. I also heard Manchester people use the word brew a lot as well. Yeah. Brew is more like brewing a cup of coffee. Yeah. Yeah, well. like a verb for yeah, right? yeah yes. like brew something. Yes. But like, what does that exactly mean? It means tea, a cup of tea. Only tea? Yeah. What about coffee? No, we'll say you want coffee. Ah, uh, even though you'd brew coffee. Yeah, yeah, we'll just say tea. So if someone says, oh, do you want a brew? They'll say, oh no, can I have coffee? Mm. So they'll correct it saying coffee. Mm. It doesn't mean both, it's only tea. Speaking of drinking something, mm -hmm. like thirsty has its own word as well. Yeah, we'll say, oh, I'm gagging for a drink. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you sometimes use that yeah, word? Yeah, sometimes. Gagging. sometimes. Gagging. Maybe we can just make sentences is using all those words mm -hmm. that like that brew was min that, that brew was mint that you can say oh that brew was minging that ah, minging <laughs> that's that. disgusting that's nice. <laughs> yeah. i've also been reminded that 
like Mancunian people also use dead oh, yes. to mean another thing. Yes. Not just the opposite of alive. Yeah, no, it means very. Very is dead. Yeah, it's dead good that. Dead good that. Oh, he's dead funny him. <laughs> Why <laughs> dead though? Like, does it kill you? Yeah, it's so strong. Yeah. It's like a very, very, it's a very, very strong very, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Dead funny, dead annoying. Just really or very, just emphasizing. Wow. So is it commonly used? Yeah. Dead good. Yeah. He's dead min him. Yeah, like <laughs> he's well. dead min him. I'm absorbing your Mancunia. <laughs> we can adopt Billy to Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Manchester people have their own unique accent as well. Yeah. What kind of features would be kind of like the typical Manchester accent then? I think like the ER just turns into an A. So like ah. Manchester. Manchester. Later. I'm ah. gonna go there later. Later. Center. That's like Aussie, Aussie accent though. Mm, yeah. yeah. You don't even pronounce T, not water. Yeah, there's no T. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Water. And, and even some Londoners say they, that they way do. as well, right? Yeah. Like Hockney as well. Yeah. Oh, we always say here, we'll say here. E. Come here, you. So you don't Shall pronounce we? H. Yeah, no. <laughs> Come here, you. Yeah. Come here, our kid. Mm -hmm. like that way. And then even like doing, we'll be like, there's no G at the end. What's he doing? doing. So we'll just drop loads of like consonants. When you say like mingin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's it no was G. not minging. Yeah, you don't say minging. Mingin. It looks like there is, but when we say, we drop it. Wow. Mingin. You drop so many consonants yeah. there. Yeah, we do. We don't speak properly. T H G. You don't pronounce <laughs> that. Yeah, we don't know them letters. <laughs> <laughs> what about singing? Then singing is sing singing, singing, shutting the door, shutting the door, shutting the door, shutting the door. Even the T turns How into many a. features are there? <laughs> shutting. Earth sound is a bit different. Yeah. It's not shutting, but short, shut, shutting. Shutting. It's like an O U. Shutting. Right. Shut oh, shutting the door. Yeah. Because I noticed that when you every time you say but as mm. well. Oh yeah, but. Yeah, but. but. <laughs> it's like a, almost like O U T. Yeah, it's like B O T maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So would you say that's also kind of one of the features? Yeah, for... of a Manchester accent. Oh, yeah. love? Love. <laughs> yeah, L-U-V. Wow. Hey, love. love. You're all right, love. You're all right, love. You're all right, love. Some? Some. Yeah, we'll say some. Some. Something, even. The T-H is an F. Something? Something, yeah. If you want to be really mank. So it's more like F sound, yeah. not T-H sound. Yeah, S-U-M-F-I-N. Something. Oh, God. What about <laughs> mother? Mother. It's a V. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mother. Uh, mother. Oh, whose mother's that? Oh. Father. Father. <laughs> Father. 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 Two, two Fs. I also noticed that you don't really pronounce ah uh, sounds like mm -hmm. past, no. laugh. Yeah. Right? It's past. 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 Bath. Bath. Yeah. What about bath, that TH sound? Oh, bath? Yeah, yeah, we do actually. We say bath. <laughs> we say bath? Yeah, only you need to bath the baby. Oh, oh wow. Go bath the baby. Then laugh is. It'd be laugh. Laugh. Past. 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 <laughs> what about chance? Do you also change it? Chance. Chance? Yes, yeah, sure. Wow. <laughs> short and simpler. Yes. We also mentioned like you drop H as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about house? House, house, no, house, it's still house, house. House is still house. Yeah, house is still house. Then help? Elf, do you yeah, say Yeah, do you know what, if it's really mad, so I'm like, I need help. Help. I need help. Help, wow. <laughs> oh, can you help me here, oh, help me. Help me. The hair, eh, do you say hair? Eh? Sometimes, oh, like, oh I need to brush my hair. Wow. Yeah, we do actually. Air if you're being really, really, really mank, you'll mm. be like, oh, I need to brush my hair. Or have you got an air dryer? Hiya. Hiya. Yes, Aya. Even like it's I Y O H sometimes. Aya. Oh, Aya. Aya, you're right. <laughs> That's much more different yeah. than I thought actually. Yeah. Wow. When I went to university in Ormskirk near Liverpool, I had mm. to be clearer. So then I'd be like, hair. And I have to pronounce the words and then mm, letters I didn't because yeah. the scousers would, or the people in Oscar would be like, What are you saying? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Then they'd mock me and I'm like, Scousers ah. say that? Yeah, the scousers <laughs> were taking the mick out of me. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> While everyone else can't understand scousers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even within, within Manchester, mm. I think there are some areas where people have thicker accent relatively Definitely, and yeah. no softer accent. Yeah. Then which area would be kind of like the thickest mm. area? I think in the north because we're going up into, you know, like Yorkshire, Leeds territory, mm. whereas the south is obviously more southern. But I think mm. southern people are a lot more posh, mm. like in the Trafford Stadium, Trafford area, mm. more posh. So yeah. they pronounce things a little bit more. Yeah. But the more north you go, it's more. Because like Greater Manchester is so huge. So big right? now because we've yeah. absorbed 
so many towns yeah. now. Yeah. So yeah. I, because I've heard like Mancunian accent is was also influenced by Lancashire accent. Yes, yes, but yes. But Yorkshire accent as well. Yes. So like yeah. absorbing accent from everywhere. Yeah, because technically Manchester used to be in the county of Lancashire mm -hmm, until mm -hmm. maybe 15 years ago, yeah. and then it became Greater Manchester is now a county. Mm. Yeah. Before we wrap up, how about bragging your city, Manchester? Mm -hmm. So what is the best about Manchester then? Well, if you're there for football, if you like football, we've got mm. the Manchester City, City Stadium. We have something called the Trafford Centre, mm. which is a huge shopping yeah. mall. I think I've been there. You've been in, there? Into? Yeah, into, into Trafford now. Yeah, yeah, it's changed yeah, yeah, into yeah, Trafford, yeah. yeah. So it's like got like Greek theme with the columns. Yeah, I love that. And it. then there's like a Titanic area, which mm. is the food court. And then there's an Egyptian corner. It's really pretty, like if you want to mm. do a day trip, We've got cinema, food, it's great, mm. yeah. I was also very impressed by like museums and art yes, areas, artistic yeah. areas. Yeah. There are many artists as mm -hmm. well in Manchester. Mm -hmm. I really love the Northern Quarter. Northern Quarter is great. Great cafes, yes. shops, restaurants. Yeah, because they've tried to preserve like old Victorian Manchester in mm. Northern Quarter, that's great. And then also we've got Castlefield. That area has got mm. really nice cafes and things like that near the water. We have like a little river. They've got really pretty libraries. We've got John Ryland Library. Yeah, yeah, I love that. It looks like Harry Potter, yeah, right? Yeah. When you go Basically in. Harry Potter set. Yeah, so yeah. go to John Ryland's because yeah. it looks like a really dark old building. Yeah, which is located in the centre of center. Manchester. Yeah. Check out mm -hmm. Manchester as well, guys. Mm -hmm. So today uh, with my Mancunian guest, uh, I've been learning some Mancunian phrases and Mancunian accents. Now I feel like I can do better Mancunian yeah. accents. Thank you very much for joining me. And you have your own YouTube channel, right? Yes, yes I do. It's at Missy ASTV mm. on YouTube and Instagram. So I talk about living in Korea as a man or as a British person mm. and then just lifestyle vlogs as well living mm. here. Don't forget to check out mm. Miss Ba's mm. YouTube channel as well and you can also check out Miss Ba and my Instagram account up here as well. I'm gonna put them up there and if you like this video don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and don't forget to leave your comments or if there are more Mancunian people watching this video please teach me some more Mancunian phrases <laughs> and my Cunian ways. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time. Cinnabit! 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 Bye! <laughs>